Well, I can't wait to introduce you to Mr. Pineapple. And I'm excited to get to our special guest speaker today. So, Steve, Mr. Pineapple, Matthew. <laughs> Not having a chat with you, but <laughs> I wish you all the best. Cheers, mate. That's what you deserve. All the best. <laughs> Cheers. Thank Hope you, to see sir. You again. And what really struck me with Steve was that he had this um, passion, a real passion for What inspired you to write this beautiful book? How'd you come up with this and what is it? What's the purpose of uh, publishing a book? There's good, but there's a lot of bad happening. Look at everything around you. When the world's gone crazy, it's time to go pineapple with the pineapple theory. For years, uh, I, I just felt crushed like a lemon by the culture washing of, let's say, several corporate companies, crushed by several emotional fishermen, I like to call them, or by how the majority of society choose to act and speak from their thoughts without owning them, because the majority will seek around instead of within. The more extremes, we could even state that uh, there are likely slaves or there are negative emotions. And everything becomes an emotional illusion with life and time, resulting of many losing themselves, forgetting themselves from their methodology of their own choosing, resulting of many forgetting that they are in life, possibly the solution. So what happens is when I saw this through the emotional illusions of life and time, like an eagle, I decided to sell my lemons and I bought a pineapple. And tell us the pineapple theory. So what if life quality of Earth could be more positive if we live positively between humans all together on Earth? The main purpose of the pineapple theory is to assist humans to live happily on Earth together. Theoretically, what if adding a pineapple in people's life could assist humans to live on Earth more happily together? You know, to live happily together on Earth starts within the, each one of us. If we are positive inside of each one of us, we become positive with others. I wanted to create something that will be definitely fresh and authentic, just different, um, that would definitely assist as many people as possible on Earth um, to build inside of them a, a really solid foundation with easy to use principles, tools and concepts to ease uh, the reasoning process with the good and the bad. Um, doesn't matter if it's good and bad that is already inside of us or the good and the bad that is trying to hit us. Uh, but the main intent is to be able to manage it efficiently with reasoning. So to be able to do this management inside of us, um, it's good to have the tools to do some reasoning with intelligence to make that transition from a negative emotion to a positive emotion. And this is an entire process and it connects also with engineering. How, how have you engineered yourself? Engineering yourself means that you've built your foundation. And on your foundation stands a temple. The temple, if we use everything that I'm saying here in Athens, I, I'm inspired to say that your mind is a temple. What a game changer it is and this book Honestly, I hope so many of you get it, and I hope so many people in the world read it as well, because he's really struck a chord with me, honestly. So, first of all, what's, what's your deal with fruits? The pineapple is, is, is the inspiration and the symbol. Right, so it's a symbol. It's a, a symbol to remind us of that. Because what I share is that theoretically, everything is like a pineapple. And I sat with the book in my hands and started reading it. And I thought, oh, you haven't quite got the grammar right. You know, the more I think about it, the more it's right.
you know, every every time I'm on LinkedIn, every time, everywhere I'm going, I can see. Yeah, the more I talk about it, the more I see the quotes and ideas that that Steve pushes forward. Talk about. I love this. This is like the greatest hashtag. You should hashtag this everywhere, besides obviously the pineapple. But be positively curious. You say. Because you know we're in London, and, and and there's this thing about Londoners from the 17th century, where for which um, it was really difficult to get uh, a pineapple. It didn't grow around here in the 17th century, so people would um, not buy; they would actually rent a pineapple to carry it around or to display it at home. Um, and it was very expensive. We're talking about over 2,000 pounds just to grant a freaking pineapple. That's really what it was. Every, every country has a pineapple story. Um, and Athens, uh, pineapple story is uh, pineapples on a pizza. Um, because the one who has this optimistic and very ambitious idea of adding pineapples into a pizza was a Greek Canadian. The mission of uh, Engineers of Tomorrow um, in Canada, for which I'm uh, a collaborator, also a speaker, um, it really uh, assists in nourishing young minds, in becoming the future problem solvers of, our, of, of the world, literally, that's literally what it is. There's so much value in, for an adult, to understand what it is, because the young ones are our future. It's, that's the next generation. And as much as we put a lot of focus, we should also focus on ourselves to give the best focus to the young ones for that growth. Humans are possibly the solution for everything. Today's generation is tomorrow's generation. If positively fed, it will become the bright future. Because together we can. It's just something that I'm actually really passionate about. 